Hey guys, so I'm showing you guys that I um, am timing it. So let's see if we can do this in approximately one hour. So I'm starting my wash routine. This is the same wash routine I always do. So nothing has changed, but I'm just briefly showing you guys um, how I do my wash routine as well as me doing everything from start to finish in one hour. So I'm doing um, her wash with the Taylor Beauty Moisturizing Coconut Cream Shampoo. And I'm just going and getting rid of all the buildup throughout the previous week. Um, I do do this new regimen once a week. And also, because I um, use the same products, there's not really a lot of buildup. So her wash took me about five minutes and 42 seconds. And now I'm just going in and I am conditioning her hair with the Taylor Beauty Coconut Cream Conditioner. So what I'm doing with this is I'm conditioning it into sections and I'm dividing those sections into smaller sections and I'm just going in and working it throughout her hair. Um, she does have um, very thick density of her hair. Her strands are thin, but her density is really thick. Um, so I'm just going in and I'm just making sure I get conditioner on every strand um, because this is going to help me really detangle um, because I only detangle her hair once a week. Her hair only gets combed on this day. So you want to make sure that you um, do a good job with the detangling. I like to use these clips because they really help me. As you can see, I was really at the bottom of my conditioner. So um, I did have to scrape. So now we are at 10 minutes and 29 seconds. That's how long it took my full wash and conditioning routine without me detangling. So we do do um, steam treatments. And so her steam treatment lasted a little bit less than 20 minutes. And so here she is coming out of the steam treatment. The benefits of the steam treatment is that it really helps the conditioner penetrate into her hair and it really gives me a lot of slip when it is time to detangle. You want to make sure you have a lot of slip when you're detangling your own hair or your children's hair. So here I am looking a hot mess <laughs> and I am showing you guys that I did stop to go upstairs and reset up my equipment but I am starting my clock again just to show you guys that um it is time for me to um, go ahead and finish her hair. So we stopped for about, I want to say 20 minutes in order for me to go upstairs, set up my equipment, and make sure everything was in place. But I assure you, if I wasn't recording, it would still take the same amount of time. So I'm just showing you guys how healthy her hair is. Her hair has grown a lot, and I'm also showing you the staple of this hairstyle, which is the Goody Elastic Bands. So now I'm going in with my Taylor Beauty Go Thick Oil and I'm just going in and I'm adding oil all over her hair. This is going to sealing all of the water and it's going to leave her hair nicely moisturized throughout the week. So I begin by sectioning off her hair. For this protective hairstyle, I realized that ponytails are the best hairstyle for her at this length and honestly at this time in my life. So I'm adding the Taylor Beauty Everything Butter and I'm just going in and I'm still continuing to seal in that moisture. Um, just locking in everything and now I'm going with my Taylor Beauty Perfect Coils. This is a defining jelly. It's not going to leave the hair hard but what it is going to do is it's going to help hold the hairstyle and it's going to add a nice amount of shine. So I added the elastic tie and I divided her hair into three sections and began to plait her hair. So when you braid any hair into a protective hairstyle, you want to make sure it's equal amount of strands um, because if the strands are unequal lengths, what's going to happen is it's going to be hard to braid once you get towards the end. So as you can see, I'm braiding her hair, but I'm not borrowing any hair. Um, that's another key to reduce any tangling um, and it also really helps when you go and wash it the next week um, because the hair is basically still detangled. And as you can see, I haven't used any combs and I'm just going back and using the perfect coils to define her hair. 
um, add in that shine, add in that moisture and help it to stay at the end so that it doesn't unravel. So once I get to the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it a couple of times and then I'm going to coil it around my fingers so that I don't unravel. Um, I don't advise you to use any type of rubber bands or even barrettes at the ends of kids hair because it tends to break off the hair. So now I'm just adding my Taylor Beauty edge control and this edge control can be used around the edges and it can also be used on certain parts of the hair. So as you can see, I'm adding it along her edges at the top of her hair just so I can get the hair nice and um, slicked down so that it'll last me for a full week. So this edge control does not flake, it will not build up on you, um, and it will not leave your edges hard. So I'm going in and I'm doing the same exact routine that I did before, adding some butter, then adding some of the coils, and then braiding to the very bottom of her hair. Okay, so I'm just showing you guys how I continue to do this process. My daughter has really low luster hair. Um, so what I do like about the products is that it really, really helps me to give her a lot of shine. And just with the right regimen, you, your daughters or yourself, anyone can have really healthy hair. But you have to be really consistent with your regimen. And... You guys have seen that I've styled my daughters here a lot of different ways. So part of a regimen is developing trial and error and see what works for you and what does not work for you. And um, I think at this point in her length, I think these braids really help because I'm not spending a whole bunch of time um, on her hair and I'm just not doing anything that's harmful. And I am finally finished. So I do want to show you guys that I could do a regimen in approximately one hour. So this is my favorite regimen yet. I love her hair in this hairstyle and I feel like the results are really good. So we are happy. Wash day is over. So here is the completed hairstyle. I'm absolutely in love with this hairstyle. I think it complements her very well. We get this hairstyle to last us about five to six days. And once we are finished, I either put her hair in a pie puff or I let her wear a braid out. So here is her hair six days later. Wear it out, let her wear that, and maybe even let her wear a ponytail and then go right back into washing it. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, let me know. Let me know if you want to see some more of these styling routines with the same hour regimen. And I'll be sure to show you guys. So if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Bye.